Okay, now the next problems we're going to look at are ones where they're not centered uh, at the origin. And you see here that the uh, ellipse, has, the formula has some parentheses around it, which means that it's, you don't have uh, zero, zero anymore. In fact, you can find the center just by taking the opposite sign of each number you see there. The x has to come first. So opposite sign of this one is positive 2. Opposite sign of this is 1. So this one says that your center is going to be at 2, comma 1. Now in the notes, you should have looked at the, the two formulas that I gave, the two uh, diagrams. Shows all the formulas for foci, vertices, if you have an ellipse that's centered at HK. So you want to make sure you're familiar with those before you watch the video here. It'll make more sense uh, once you've had a look uh, at both of those. So assuming again that you've looked at those, let's go ahead and do this problem where it's centered at HK. So here's our H. H is 2. K is going to be equal to uh, 1. Now the same rules apply as we talked about before. If it's centered at the origin, you look at where the larger number is. The larger number here is underneath the x variable. So because that's the case, we know that this one's going to be opening up uh, sideways. Because again, larger number underneath the x means it opens in the x direction. We can find our a and b values right away. Your a is going to be the uh, square root of this number on the bottom. Square root of the larger number is your a, so that's 4. Square root of the smaller number is b, so we have a is 4 and b is 2. You can find the c value also. Square root of a squared minus b squared is still the same formula we had before. So you're going to do 4 squared minus 2 squared on that one. 16 minus 4 is 12. And we can take the square root of 12. Uh, 4 is going to come out, so you, we can write this as 2 square root of 3. That's our c value. All right, so now we can answer this question here. Uh, the eccentricity is C over A, so if the exact value would be 2 square root of 3 over 4, which is the square root of 3 over 2. And if you turn that into a decimal, that's about 0.87. Okay, so 0.87 is not quite as narrow as, as the previous example we did that was 0.94, um, but it's still going to look fairly narrow because it's still farther away uh, from zero. Major axis is 2 times a, 2 times 4 is 8, minor is 2 times b, 2 times 2 is 4, so we have that information. Now we just want to find the vertices and the foci. We'll do that from the graph. Now, when you're graphing something that's not centered at the origin, what you're going to do first is the first thing you want to do is plot the center. So here's the center, 2, 1. We start from that. So all the measurements that we do with our a and b and C, they all come from the center. So I'm going to do this problem. Again, I'm not going to be using formulas like I have in the notes. Instead of using the formulas, I'm actually just going to read the values directly off of the graph. We know that it opens up sideways. That means that that's the direction we have to go with our A value. A was 4. So from the center here, we're going to go 4 to the left and 4 to the right, and we get our coordinates there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is going to go back to here and we have four going that way. So we have four in each direction. Going up and down, we're going to use uh, B is two. Go up two, make a dot, down two, make a dot here. And so now we have our ellipse is going to look like this. Okay, so that's our, that's our basic drawing. Now the, ver the vertices are the ones that are on the long ends. So I'm going to read these two coordinates, this one and this one. I'm going to read those off the graph, and that's the, uh, the other piece of information they're asking for. I have negative 2, negative 2, and 1. And also I have, if I count this, it's going to be 6, 1. So I have that. Okay. Now, one thing I want to mention about the, the vertices. Let's suppose that we use the formulas for that, and the formulas formulas for vertices are basically h plus or minus a comma k for this particular case. And if you decide to go ahead and use that, you would have 2 plus or minus 4 and then comma 1 and we would have that. Now, you don't want to leave your answer like this. Okay, so if you're doing it in my class, this is actually considered incomplete. So even though you applied the formula, if you are going to use the formula, that's fine. But you want to make sure that you actually finish it out. So you're going to have to actually do 2 minus 4, and worked it out to be negative 2, and then 2 plus 4 would give you 6, comma 1. So you want to actually write them out as coordinates like this separately, 
even if you're going to be using the formula. So again, uh, make sure you don't leave your answer like this. It's considered incomplete uh, in doing so. Okay, so main thing is you want to write them as the two coordinates we see here. So again, if you just, if you just write them out based on the picture itself, then you already have them written out uh, properly. Okay, now foci, from, the, from here we're adding and, adding and subtracting the C value. So what that would look like as a coordinate is look like this. You would have 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 3 comma 1. Now it's okay to leave your answer in this format because the square root of 3 we can't do anything in order to simplify that so it's in this case you don't have to write it out separately this is actually okay to do with the plus or minus. If you have that online homework grading system for using that you probably have to separate those only because the program itself doesn't allow you to have plus or minus in it but my class, it's okay to use plus or minus. You can leave your answer uh, as that one. If I, uh, if I wanted to uh, write this out uh, as a coordinate on this one, basically if I have that one, it's uh, 2.65 is what this one is. Or actually, no, I'm sorry, 3.46. So this is 3.46. That's the decimal on that one and you're going to add 3.46 on both sides. So you get about one here and also one right here and that would be your uh, finished graph there if you wanted to actually plot the, the foci, that's where it would be. So again, this um, you want to use the exact value when you write your answer but as far as graphing purposes you can change it into a decimal and you can go ahead and put that down there and the decimal will tell you how far to go and that way you can get your foci down there as well.